Razzle Dazzle, RazzleCon here, and I'm super excited about my new song, Vacuum Cleaner, which is, you guessed it, it's about vacuum cleaners, what what, because I'm Turkish Martha Stewart, you know, um, not really, but a little bit, so, uh, it is called Vacuum Cleaner, and it is full of vacuum cleaner references and footage in the music video, but it's really about those people in your life who just suck, who drag you down, that you need to do a mental and like just sort of an audit spring cleaning on your life of these shitty people who drag you down and suck all the energy out of your life and make you less happy, less successful. So that's why it's called vacuum cleaner, but also I realized I did have like four vacuum cleaners. <laughs> Three of them were Dyson's and one of them was a Xiaomi robot. This one isn't mine. This is my dad's. He and I, we both really like cleaning and we both have a lot of vacuum cleaners. So uh, that kind of inspired the song, but also all these crummy people that I've dealt with recently and in the past that just really suck and feel like they're dragging me down holding me back and just like I like to do a spring cleaning on my wardrobe and my possessions sort of Mary Kondo it uh even though I actually am not like that into Mary Kondo I like going through and getting rid of my stuff time to time and I feel like you have to do the same thing with people in your life. You have to like get rid of the bad to make room for new awesome people. And it's not just about like upgrading, like trading up, like they're more famous, they're more rich, whatever. But like who sucks versus who adds value to your life? Who makes you happy? Who makes things better versus who makes things worse? That's what this song is about. So it's coming out Friday the 13th, November 2020. What a year it has been. And the music video might be out that day, might be out a little later. Thanks to my producer, Jesus, who's also helping edit. We'll see. Um, we have some final tweaks we're making, but it will be out soon. Um, and if you're wondering where I am, what is this like? interesting crazy background i am in norcal as we locals call it which is northern california i am from the smallest city in california originally believe it or not and i'm visiting this is one of my grandma's other homes my great grandma actually lived here and we're shooting here turkish martha stewart my unreleased song that some of you diehard razzlers and razzlers and like lifelong friends of mine already know. I made this song like a year or two ago. Um, I think, gosh, it's been about a year and a half since we recorded it. It's one of my favorite songs. Turkish Martha Stewart, keep God up in her skirt. Been trapping with dessert. Gone popping from that dirt. Rebellious young Turk. Cut basics with a burk, showing off her inverse twerk. I don't she come a lurk, like the icky bitch dirt. Anyways, you're gonna see me rapping that plenty in the dope music video. You're going to hear the whole song soon enough. I haven't decided when I'm releasing it yet, but we're finally filming the music video here right now. Um, amidst the pandemic, I had big plans for this song to do it with like a full crew, but safety first so we're doing it ourselves and honestly it's kind of like more meaningful that way i was also really inspired by um queen it's like q v e e n kaveen i don't know how to say it herbie um i like her stuff and one of her great music videos i'm trying to remember the name of it um she filmed amidst the pandemic and filmed at home so i'm inspired to do that uh we have a lot of really dope stuff coming soon that i'm excited about sorry for not although i'm trying to not say sorry so i'm not gonna say sorry but i've been a ghost lately i've been kind of mia and that is because i've been working a lot on my software company also on different art things also just like the pandemic is really <laughs> taken a toll like I've I've done a lot of things to make my life better 
and like improve myself as far as my health, my mind, my like emotional state. Um, but it, it's just hard sometimes to sustain that motivation. Um, whether it's like having to sanitize things when you're in the middle of a pandemic and like a epicenter of the outbreak, which I was before, or, or just like things that I found really meaningful that I just can't do right now, like international travel and seeing some of my best friends like Simon in Vietnam. Um, and like, I'm so thankful that we have Zoom and all these different ways to communicate with people that we didn't used to have like a decade ago, but it's just hard. And I think this pandemic is affecting our minds in ways we don't even know as far as like, uh, in order to communicate with people, I have to use a phone. In order to interact with people I care about, I have to use my phone or my laptop. And sometimes it's just kind of overwhelming, so I needed an unplug. Um, and I did record actually a bunch of content because I have no problem apparently just putting a camera out there uh, and just talking to myself like I'm talking to myself in a mirror as a kid, as an only child in rural NorCal, just like I am right now kind of come full circle, but, uh, I don't know. Sometimes I just don't want to, like, hop on my computer and look at my old footage. I don't know if it's perfectionism. I don't know if it's because I'm too busy. I don't know if it's because I'm overwhelmed. Do you creators and artists, uh, YouTubers, do you ever have that problem? Uh, sometimes I just, like, I can motivate myself enough to record. <laughs> but not always enough to edit or post things. And right now I really want to post something, but I am in the land, ugh. I am in the land of like the worst internet ever. Uh, it's literally worse than post-revolutionary Egypt. I should know, I live there. So uh, we'll see what I can do. I'm probably literally gonna have to like camp out on my grandma's porch cause I'm trying to quarantine, keep her safe even though I tested negative for COVID. I was traveling through Arizona and New Mexico before and I just want to be extra safe because my grandma's in her 80s and I would feel terrible if I got her sick. But um, I'm going to try to post this video. Be sure to check out the vacuum cleaner song. You can listen. It's called Vacuum Cleaner. Uh, vacuum Cleaner song would have been interesting though, but Vacuum Cleaner by Razzle Khan, like Genghis Khan with more pizzazz. Everywhere you listen to music, it'll be available November 13th, uh, fri it's Friday the 13th, 2020, and that music video will be coming soon. Be sure to follow wherever you're watching this, whether it's YouTube, TikTok, IG, whatever, because um, I will be posting a lot of dope stuff soon. I have a stockpile of content I've been working on, and I have a whole bunch of things we're going to barazzle to make them really cool like um this here jacket of mine that actually is gonna be in the music video for turkish martha stewart quite a bit this is my zebra jacket kind of has like a skeleton vibe uh this is the old leather jacket i got in turkey honestly like a decade ago um it was getting a little bratty but anyways there there's a video browsing that my elliptical that i have at home from quarantine <laughs> And uh, I promise I'm gonna start posting more videos. I would really appreciate the encouragement with likes and comments because sometimes I get, honestly, I get demotivated by social media because I find it's too fake and superficial sometimes and that's not what I'm about. I'm about being real, I'm about doing my thing, I'm about authenticity, encouraging others to do the same. So if you feel me, I super appreciate the shout out, not trying to be corny or fake, just like help me stay motivated. Um, love y'all, razzle dazzle. <laughs>